In this video, we are going to talk about the top three Gutenberg plugins that you should use on your WordPress website. So if you are planning to use Gutenberg for building your WordPress website, then these three plugins can add some amazing superpowers for your WordPress editor. So let's dive in. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and I'll show you the three top plugins for Gutenberg. So here we are in our WordPress backend and the number one plugin we are going to review is Cadence Blocks. So this is the Cadence Blocks plugin, which got a lot of Gutenberg blocks in it. So let's go ahead and install that first. And let's go ahead and activate. Now these are the free Cadence blocks that you get after installing this plugin. It got row layout, forms, advanced gallery, and a lot of other Gutenberg blocks that can help you design your WordPress pages in a very easy way. So let's see how these blocks can be used for building your page structure. So let's go ahead and create a new page and we will call it Cadence page. And here now in our main editor area, we can start designing our page. So we can get the complete list of blocks from this plus icon here. So if we click on that, here we have all the cadence blocks showing at the very top. So these are all the free cadence blocks that we get with this plugin. So to start with, we need to add a new row. So once we click on that, it will give us an option to to select the type of row layout you want to choose. So if you want to choose a two column layout, we can divide it into two equal columns or maybe any other way. So let's say we want this two column layout. And now with that, you can easily add margin and padding on this row. And now once you click on this complete row, you can easily add padding here. So all you have to do is just move your mouse on the top area. Here it will show you that right now it's 25 pixel from the top and 25 pixel from the bottom. So in order to increase or decrease this padding, you can just click here and then start dragging this row layout at the bottom. So this will add around 146 pixels padding from the bottom and you can do the same for the top as well. So this is how easy it is to add padding in your row. And you can do the same from this right hand side column. So whenever you add any cadence blocks on the page editor, you get all these options. So here you can change the structure of your two columns, or maybe you can add more column from here. And above that, you also get a preview how it's going to look on your tablet and mobile. After that, we have the margin padding, the background settings, and lot of other options that you can play around with this blocks. So here we can go ahead and add maybe an image. So we can add an image here and maybe on the right hand side, we can click on this add block and here we can search for heading. So along with the default heading of Gutenberg, we now had advanced heading. So once we click on that, here we can start typing our text. And once we are done, we can start typing our normal paragraph. So here we have just entered some sample text and right now it's using the default paragraph blog from the Gutenberg editor. But as you can see on the right hand side, the options are very limited. So in order to get some more options here, we need to, we can change this block to advanced heading that is from cadence blocks. And here instead of H2, we can switch that to paragraph. So now we are again using the paragraph tag, but this time we are using a cadence block. And if you take a look on the right hand side, we get more options now. So we can change the color, background, font size, and some advanced features here. So this is how we can create layouts on our page using the cadence blocks. Now the best way to get the most out of cadence blocks is to use it when you are using cadence theme. If we go in the customizer of our theme, so right now I have Cadence theme installed. And if I go in the customizer here with the Cadence theme, if we go in the general tab and in colors, we get global color palette option in Cadence theme. So here we can define three different color palettes for our WordPress website. And here we already have some predefined color palettes. So when we click on this, 
here are the default color palettes so if in case we assign this as for palette number two and for palette number three if we define this green one and let's click on publish so now we have defined three different color palettes for our website so let's say we choose palette number two let's click on publish so now we have this color palette defined globally for various elements on our website so this is very much like global site settings for elementor so once we have defined this in cadence theme we can now come back in our editor let's save this page and let's refresh this once and now if we click on this heading right now it's default black color but if you go here in the heading color we can assign a custom color from here we have the global color palette showing here so whenever we are using cadence theme if we use cadence blocks with that we get an option to assign the global color as well as the global typography whenever we are using the cadence blocks and cadence theme in combined so this adds a lot of value when you are using both of them together so this is an amazing advantage when you use cadence blocks with cadence theme but there is no restriction you can easily use cadence blocks with any wordpress theme and you can easily change the color of your heading and various other elements on the page by just using this color picker but when we use cadence theme we get an advantage of using this global color palette so whenever you change anything in the global color palette you don't have to go back on every page and every element to customize the color or font along with that when you are using cadence blocks with cadence theme you get a design library here on every page so you can choose all the free options that are available here and to get started with the design of your page and then take it forward so this is a big advantage when you are using cadence blocks plugin with the cadence theme next in our list is ultimate add-ons for gutenberg and this is the plugin from the team astra and here on their website you get a long list of blocks which you can use for free of cost so here back in the wordpress backend this is the plugin we can install so let's go ahead and install it now so now we have installed the ultimate add-on for gutenberg and once again like cadence blocks you can use the ultimate add-ons for gutenberg with any wordpress theme here are all the blocks that are freely available for the use and the best part about this plugin is that you can activate only the selected blocks that you want to use so right now if i activate all right now all the blocks are available so if i just deactivate all and let's say i only want the google map or maybe the post grid block so i can only activate these two blocks so this is going to decrease a lot of load in the back end and once again we have advanced columns advanced headings and all the basic blocks that are required to design our website pages so let's go back in pages let's create a new one and this time let's call it astra page so let's save this so if you want to see all the blocks that we are using from the ultimate add-ons for gutenberg we need to click on this plus icon and if we scroll down here are the ultimate add-on section and here are just the two blocks that we have activated from the back end so right now i have just activated all the blocks so that we can just have a quick look so if we scroll down here are all the list of blocks that comes with this free plugin so once again we can start designing our page here as well so we will type in forward slash so here if we start typing row so we have the default row from the gutenberg editor and from the ultimate add-ons we have the advanced columns so if we click on that once again we get an option to choose the structure of our columns so let's go with this one and this is how the structure of this plus add-ons look like here we don't have the feature of adding margin and padding like we have in cadence and i like that feature very much so you can do all the settings from this right hand side block and here you can assign colors shape dividers and various other things so here again if we click on this section and let's try to add an image so let's select this image and on the right hand side we will now go ahead and add some heading so if we search for heading we have the normal gutenberg heading and the advanced heading from the ultimate add-on let's select this one and here is the text we will align it to left 
and we have the color option here. So here if we select this blue color, it will get assigned to this. So once we are done with this heading, we can also add some description to this heading. So this one is a little bit different from the normal heading. So we can enter the text here. And right now, along with the ultimate add-ons from Gutenberg, we are using the Astra theme. So that's why we get this extra option here. And as you can see, this blue color is coming from the theme color. Just like Cadence theme, we if we use the ultimate add-on for Gutenberg with the Astra theme, we get this advantage that we can assign the global color palette and the global typography right from here. But again, you can use this Gutenberg plugin with any WordPress theme. Along with that, if you are using the ultimate add-ons for Gutenberg with Astra theme, you get an option for starter templates. These are the ready-made website themes that you can use for creating your complete website and this will be really helpful when you want to start your website and you are not a designer. Next plugin in our list is the Get With Gutenberg plugin. Now this one is not dependent on any theme. This is just 40 plus free Gutenberg blocks. So this plugin gives you a lot of free Gutenberg blocks to build anything on your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and install this and now let's click on activate. So if we go in the setting and if we go in the block section, here are all the blocks that are available. So once again, you can select all or deselect all. And the next part is post template, which is a big benefit of this free plugin. Using this option, you can define your post template, which is a big advantage for anyone who is building a WordPress website using a free theme. So here, if we go in the manage post template here we have an option to create a new template and this gives you an option to choose how you want your post templates to look like so if we select this one so this is a general idea how your post will look like so you can go ahead and play around with that and create your own custom post templates and if we go ahead and create a new page to see how these blocks work so let's name it get with page and here if we click on the plus icon and here at the very bottom, we have the get with blocks. So this one is sections. We have sliders, we have banners, the info box and the list goes on by which you can create anything that you want. My favorite one in this list is the video pop up as well as the image hotspot. So let's try the video pop up first. So here you can enter a video URL. So let's say we enter this URL here and maybe we type in some text. And here we have an option to select image. So maybe we can select an image. So this image will act as a background. And here we have a play button here. So on the right hand side, we get all the settings and the style option. Here we have the video URL, video button animation. So this will act as a pulse. So this looks cool. So if we publish this page and see it in the front end, so if you click on this play button, this will pop up a video. So this is an amazing feature from this plugin. So these are the top three plugins that you can use for building your WordPress website using Gutenberg. So you can build your complete WordPress website using any of these Gutenberg plugins. So when we use Cadence blocks with Cadence themes, it definitely adds a great advantage. We can combine that with the global color palette and the global typography. And get widths gives some extra features that we can use like this video pop up that we have just seen and and rest of the other free blocks or you can combine with cadence blocks with the ultimate add on. There is no harm in it. There is no restriction that you have to use the ultimate add ons for Gutenberg only with Astro theme. So if you have used any of these plugins, do let us know which is your favorite blog. And if you know any other Gutenberg blocks plugin, which you use on your WordPress website, then do let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear your feedback. If you like this video, then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. And if you need any expert help regarding your website, you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.